Now, earlier this month, we told you about Tom Littledial, a pub owner in South England, who took it upon himself to organize caravans of humanitarian aid for people in Ukraine. But now he's branching out his efforts to other countries. Is it Little Dyke? I apologize. I said it wrong, uh, but we still love you. Uh, I know you're helping an orphanage in Moldova and building a safe house for Ukrainian refugees on the Polish border. Thanks for being with us. How in the world are you able to be so mobile? Uh, honestly, just just lack of sleep and coffee. <laughs> it sounds like the news business. <laughs> sounds like just what we do. You should be a journalist. We should hire you. Well, you recently returned <laughs> home. Uh, after your second trip to Ukraine, exactly what were you looking to donate this time around? So this time we're currently in the process of organizing future trips. Um, we've just had a couple guys return from Romania. They were in conversation with a Moldovan official and they'd organized going over to a um, essentially a Ukrainian orphanage um, and these are the guys from Bridport, which is just across the way from us, another little tiny village, middle of nowhere sort of thing. They're just drumming up everybody together. They've got kind of like an army of about 60 people just boxing stuff up, getting stuff out there. Um, they've just returned and they were telling about the orphanage and stuff. And the next step for us is to get the charity set up through the licensing commission. As soon as that's done, we're looking to set up a base of operations, creating a safe house and actually start the process of distilling Ukrainian recipe vodka to continue the support. Because like with all charities, sadly, what ends up happening is, is the, uh, the resources are going to start to go down. So we need to create a product that we can sell and then use all the profits and stuff to go back into Ukraine. So that's where we are with our next process. You have you have a very, I mean, a thorough network uh, to try to make this happen. Your focus now is an orphanage in Moldova. What exactly is being done there? So it's it's quite sad, actually. The, the orphanage had received a phone call from a Ukrainian um, orphanage, and it said that there's 20 children here that need rehoming. Um, we need to get them out of Ukraine, and we're going to send them to this Romanian orphanage <clears throat> and they didn't tell them the specifics of the children's needs and what turned up was about 20 children with incredibly specific learning difficulties. Um, there were only two care assistants. There's also a language barrier. They've come from the eastern part of Ukraine where they don't actually speak Ukrainian, they speak mostly Russian. So there's now this language barrier as well as learning difficulties. So. We're trying to find and discover if there's anybody that speaks Russian and also has experience with this nature of, of stuff and get them out there. The most important thing is to get people out there so we can sort of maybe diagnose the needs and then at least we can sort of register their next home, essentially. That's pretty, I, I mean, it's just remarkable. You've raised money for uh, these trips through donations. What exactly uh, can people do to get involved? I mean, obviously, I know that you talked about the business of what you were doing with the distillery and all of that. But uh, if somebody wants to help, what's the best way to do that? Keep talking about it. Make this a current problem. Um, one of the biggest issues is that this becomes something that we see on the media every single day. We start to normalize it. We start to think of war and refugees as being commonplace in the house. And we we want everybody to just keep an eye on the fact that this is, this is horrible and this is happening every single day that goes on. Talking about this is the most important thing we can do. And then reaching out to people and getting them to either donate what they can, maybe holding, you know, little sales that they can do themselves and sharing the information. Information is key right now. It's just remarkable to me what everyday people are doing, what everyday business owners are doing in order to help in this crisis. Tom Little Dyke, thank you so much uh, for being with us thank and for you. all you're doing. Yes. Enjoy more coffee. Take care. <laughs> I will. Go now. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.